Bar Body, Wikipedia Article Audio A bar body is the inactive X chromosome in a female somatic cell, rendered inactive in a process called lionization, in those species in which sex is determined by the presence of the Y or W chromosome rather than the diploidy of the X. The Lion hypothesis states that in cells with multiple X chromosomes, all but one are inactivated during mammalian embryogenesis. This happens early in embryonic development at random in mammals, except in marsupials and in some extra embryonic tissues of some placental mammals, in which the father's X chromosome is always deactivated. In humans with more than one X chromosome, the number of bar bodies visible at interphase is always one fewer than the total number of X chromosomes. For example, men with Klinefelter syndrome have a single bar body, whereas women with a 47 XXX karyotype have two bar bodies. Bar bodies can be seen on the nucleus of neutrophils. Mechanism a typical human female has only one bar body per somatic cell, while a typical human male has none. Mammalian X chromosome inactivation is initiated from the X inactivation center or ZIC, usually found near the centromere. The center contains 12 genes, 7 of which code for proteins, 5 for untranslated RNAs, of which only two are known to play an active role in the X inactivation process, ZIST, and ZIX. The center also appears to be important in chromosome counting, ensuring that random inactivation only takes place when two or more X chromosomes are present. The provision of an extra artificial ZIC in early embryogenesis can induce inactivation of the single X found in male cells. The roles of ZIST and TSIX appear to be antagonistic. The loss of TSIX expression on the future inactive X chromosome results in an increase in levels of ZIST around the ZIC. Meanwhile, on the future active X TSIX levels are maintained, thus the levels of ZIST remain low. This shift allows ZIST to begin coding the future inactive chromosome, spreading out from the ZIC. In non-random inactivation this choice appears to be fixed and current evidence suggests that the maternally inherited gene may be imprinted. It is thought that this constitutes the mechanism of choice, and allows downstream processes to establish the compact state of the bar body. These changes include histone modifications, such as histone H3 methylation and histone H2A ubiquitination as well as direct modification of the DNA itself, via the methylation of CPG sites. These changes help inactivate gene expression on the inactive X chromosome and to bring about its compaction to form the bar body. Reactivation of a bar body is also possible, and has been seen in breast cancer patients. One study showed that the frequency of bar bodies in breast carcinoma were significantly lower than in healthy controls, indicating reactivation of these once inactivated X chromosomes. Links to full text articles are provided where access is free, in other cases only the abstract has been linked. <laughs>